to intro to remix remix is the first tool that you're going to need to know how to use to do dap development on ethereum remix is the best browser based ide out there right now you can navigate here remix.ethereum.org this is the first and best tool you're going to use we can create contracts we can interact with them and then we can deploy them to any chain we want from the main chain to test nets to our own local test nets we're going to we're going to do this uh, a simple contract right now and then deploy it to test net local test net so this is um, an example of basic basic uh, workflow so start off so, uh, remix gives you a little file explorer here in the browser this is all in the browser it's not on my machine we're going to go to contracts they give you a couple contracts to start off with we're just going to use their stock storage contract the simplest it gets this is in a solidity video so we'll just go through this briefly but essentially what we're doing is this contract stores a number it can update it and it can retrieve it that's all it's going to do so we start off by specifying our solidity version and our compiler will will compile to those standards and then we've got our contract body here our contract is called storage we are declaring an unsigned integer 256 bits called number so this is a large it can be a large number zero to you know a lot of decimal places not decimal places but a, a lot of places and our store and retrieve functions so function store we're going to take an input called num this is a public function that means anyone in the world can call this so a lot of security implications with solidity contracts so be very mindful um, we're going to update our number variable with the input num and it is the same data type as you see here now that we have just updated the number now we want to retrieve that number so we have a function called retrieve it's public anyone in the world can call it it's view only view means that this is not going to cost gas to call the retrieve function the store function will cost gas to execute because we're updating the state of a variable and the ethereum virtual machine needs gas to pay for that but our retrieve function we're only reading the state of this variable so this will be free to call it returns that data type of two, unsigned 256 bit and returns number so just returning that number that we set earlier now we have written our contract we're ready to deploy it and we want to interact with it you can do all of that from right here in remix so the next tab here on the left is our compiler tab you see here our, our version of our compiler is within our specifications that we have set up here now we can hit compile and it looks like we have a successful compile you can copy the abi here the abi is a json description of your contract and that's our front end that we can later build will require that EBI now we can go to our deploy tab this is where all the fun happens we are going to we can deploy anywhere from a just JavaScript chain test chain here in the browser to connect to our MetaMask with injected web 3 or connect to our local host with web 3 provider first we're just going to show javascript vm this is where you can do rapid development testing simple interactions and you see here the vm gives us 10 fake accounts with 100 fake ether each now we'll see here first account 100 ether there we are going to deploy our storage contract hit deploy and then you hear you see here under deployed contracts we have a storage contract we can copy the address here and we can interact so store let's up let's call our store function let's put our input uh let's say 21. now we hit store now we just interacted with our contract we updated the state of number let's hit retrieve and we retrieved that value that we just set so that's all fun but what if we want to deploy this to our own chain running on our local machine let's say you have ganache installed on your machine and you want to test on ganache so get your terminal we're going to type ganache-cli ganache will spin up its chain we've got 10 fake accounts 100 fake ether each 
and it's listening at localhost 8545. So we switch our environment to Web3 provider. And all of this is to say, make sure your HTTP is not at uh, HTTPS and make sure you are listening on localhost 8545, which we are, hit OK. And you see here, it has now detected our custom network and it has detected all of our accounts. That contract we deployed earlier no longer exists because it is not part of this network that we're currently, uh, Remix is currently attached to. So let's deploy to this network. Hit deploy, we see here it cost um, actually a substantial amount of fake ETH, 0.003. Uh, that's actually a lot of money in real <laughs> dollars if this was on the main net. So we can interact, same deal, set, store our variable, up, retrieve it. So that's on our local machine. Now, what if we want to get this to the main net? Well, what we can do, and I'm not going to do it, but we can go to Ejected Web 3. I have MetaMask, the MetaMask browser extension on my Chrome. I can hit Ejected Web 3. It is going to communicate with my MetaMask, and it's on. My MetaMask is currently set to Robston 3 network. And I have, the only ETH I have is uh, some Robston test ETH 4.25. I just sent a few to my buddy so he could interact with the contract that I just made. And um, I'm not a bag holder. This is, all, this is all the ETH I have. So I don't really want to spend it um, right now. So I'm not going to, but you can imagine how it would go. I'd hit deploy and I can interact with it. Granted, it's going to be on a, an actual global network, which means block times are not instant. They're you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds at times on the test net. So our, our interactions down here would be a little slower. But that is your basic workflow of writing a contract in Remix and deploying it. And we can get into more um, complicated stuff later. Thanks for joining.